Hi, this is Sander de Recht for ActionVFX.com. Today I'm going to show you a quick tip about compositing ActionVFX ground fog, or every other piece of semi-transparent stock footage for that matter. So let's get started. This is the shot I'll be discussing, because what is even better than a girl walking through a forest? It's a girl walking through an eerie, misty and mysterious forest. So that's what I've created here. Now I could go through this ridiculously messy comp and show you note by note what I've done. I could tell you about how I divided up the image in four separate layers of depth. Back, middle, foreground and well, even closer up. And I could tell you that I used a couple of planar tracks for each of those depth layers to create parallax without doing an actual 3D track. Then I could show you how I put the foreground image of the girl walking on top of the layers I've added in the background. But if I did all that, then it would not be a quick tip. It would be a long tip. So I'm not going to do all of that. I'm going to focus on one vital aspect of the shot. Making ground fog appear to be thicker, more voluminous and better visible in general. Let's get to it. To demonstrate the principle, I'm going to use just a single layer of fog. And then we'll see how that applied to the whole shot. If we have a shot like this, we have various levels of brightness in the shot. And if you want to put fog on top of it, we have to do something about that. Because if I use this ground fog element from Action VFX, it looks really nice. There's lots of detail in the tendrils. If you use a Luma key for that, be sure to turn off the post multiply image checkbox because you just want the pure brightness inside of the alpha channel. So if you look at the shot now, you see all these details, but if I put on the checker underlay, almost all this detail is missing. And why is that? Because the background is too light. And this is what happens if you put the footage on top of the shot as it is. As you can tell, it's way too transparent. If the fog was really there, especially with the backlight, it would be much thicker and more voluminous. Yes, I found that word on the internet, I'm going to use it as much as I can. If you look at the original stock footage, you'll see that all the detail is there. It's there in the alpha channel, it's there in the color channel. How do we preserve that? In Fusion, there's a way to use the information that's in the alpha channel for other purposes. We do this by adding a bitmap mask, mask bitmap. We use the match moved fog layer as an input for the bitmap like so and then in the bitmap mask over here you can choose to use the alpha channel or the luminance or the saturation or whatever but this time we're using the alpha channel now what i do is add a brightness contrast tool because if i make the footage completely black all that nice detail returns wow this is a great shot maybe not but if i use the output of the bitmap mask and use it in the effect input mask of the brightness contrast tool what we have here is a way to darken the image or use a lower contrast or whatever behind the fog. And what happens if we do this, we go from a very transparent to a less transparent bit of fog. And if this isn't enough, we can just duplicate the brightness contrast a couple of times. We use the bitmap mask over and over again and then we get a nice thick fog that covers up our actress. So we started out with this, which is not very realistic. And with just a couple of notes, we cover up the actress and make everything look way better. So that's what I did here. I started out with all these different fog elements from Action VFX. I keyed them all, I transformed them, I used the planar tracks, and then I used all this information as a mask for the backgrounds. So we went from what would have been this to this, which looks much more natural and much more integrated as far as I'm concerned. I hope you enjoyed this quick tip. If you did, be sure to subscribe to the Action VFX channel for more of these insightful quick tips, vlogs and full tutorials. This was Sander de Recht for ActionVFX.com.